ஹரே கிருஷ்ணா இன்டிகிரேட் ரிகலெக்ஷன் அண்ட் பார்ட்டிசிபேஷன் பை அப்ரிஷியேட்டிங் கிருஷ்ணாஸ் இமினன்ஸ் த பகவத்கீதா இன் எயிட்டீன் இன் எயிட் பாயிண்ட் செவன் டெல்ஸ் அஸ் தஸ்மாத் சர்வேஷு காலேஷு மாம் அனுஸ்மரயுத்த மை அர்ப்பித்த மனோபுத்திர் மாமே வைஷ்ய சம்சய ஸோ தஸ்மாத் சர்வேஷு காலேஷு தேர் ஃபோர் அட் ஆல் டைம்ஸ் மாம் அனுஸ்மரயுத்த ரிமெம்பர் மீ அண்ட் ஃபைட் மை அர்ப்பித்த மனோபுத்திர் with your intelligence and your mind offered to me dedicated to me ma me vaishyasya asamshaya you will come to me without fail so now here krishna is telling arjuna that he should internally do recollection and externally do action so krishna wants to him to participate in this world also and to recollect him also now some of us may feel how is this practical now is it that we are to become some kind of split personality where we are say working on our computer in office and at the same time a part of us is working on the computer and a part of us is thinking about krishna are we to have uh, is krishna consciousness meant to be split consciousness no that's not the point actually if we uh, see the essential point is that when we have to remember krishna that means that we are to see krishna in this world and see our action in this world as meant for krishna's purpose so in the 10th chap in the 10th chapter of the bhagavad gita after krishna speaks the chatushloki bhagavad gita from 10.8 to 11 then arjuna asks the question in 10.17 keshu keshu cha bhaveshu chintyo si bhagavan maya katham vidya maham yogim stvam sadha parichintayan he says oh dear lord how can i think of you in this world how can i always remember you in one what manifestation in this world can i perceive you and krishna responds by giving around giving some 50 uh, plus examples of his immanence and all these examples are of primarily striking things things which catch attention and then krishna concludes in 10.41 by stating yad yad vibhuti mat satvam shri madurjitam eva va tat tadeva avagachhatvam mama tejo amsha sambhava that everything optical and beautiful and glorious in this world springs from a spark of krishna's splendor this means that krishna is attractive supremely attractive and everything the attraction attractiveness comes from krishna's attractiveness so when we understand this that means even in this world when we are functioning whatever catches our attention if we think that this is a manifestation of krishna and whatever attractiveness this has actually the ultimate attractiveness is in krishna then we won't while working in this world we won't get attracted to wealth or power or glamour rather we'll focus on the source of all attractiveness krishna and then when we understand that krishna pervades this world that means krishna can be served even by acting in this world when we appreciate krishna's immanence then we can see that participation in this world is actually not necessarily uh, taking us away from krishna it is actually connecting us with krishna because krishna is present approachable in this world also through action in this world through contact with his manifestations in this world of course to be able to see krishna in this world we need to train train our consciousness through scriptural study and through purificatory purificatory practices such as mantra meditation by which we can Uh, we, in which we are directly connecting with krishna and thus when our consciousness becomes spiritually devotionally sensitized then we will be able to perceive krishna in this world also and thus we will be able to move onwards towards krishna and we will realize that krishna consciousness is not split consciousness but it is actually a deep consciousness where we see not just material things but we see the material and see underlying the underlying the material is the supreme spiritual reality krishna and thus we can appreciating krishna's am immanence integrate both recollection within and participation without thank you hare krishna